Hi guys, Arthur here from Homeowner DIY. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a 5 foot bathtub. Now over my years in construction, I've installed a couple thousands of these, so I'd like to think that I'm at least decent at it. But uh, our new tub here is slightly wider than the previous, so we're going to have to take that into consideration. But what we'll do is we'll look at the setup, what we have to work with, and then we'll do material and tools. Okay, so our trap comes over from the side and then it goes up. So I think what I'm going to do is cut it there and then see if a 245 offset will, will work. I believe I do have some 22s as well, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Alright guys, this is our new tub. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to measure the center of the drain. The center of the drain looks about... 15 and a half and now the new width of our tub is about 32 inches so the previous tub was 30 and a half inches so the homeowner wants me to cut this back in inch and a half which is not going to be a problem so we have a one by four here the tub before was a steel tub so they would normally put this on uh, I'm going to leave it on. I don't need to take it off. It's not going to interfere with anything. So that's perfectly fine. And now looking at our drain. The drain is 14 and a half. The new one will be 15 and a half. So the trap comes up from the bottom. Uh, and it comes up directly. I think I'm going to have to offset 45 over to the left. Alright, so our trap is there. Uh, this is a little bit off this side. Uh, I have 45s. I also have a 22 in case I, uh, I need them. But uh, before we can install the tub, this here will have to get cut back because that's going to interfere. But besides that, that's about 20 inches high. And then our new tub is 20 and a half. So... I wouldn't even be able to install the tub with this here. But guys, that is what we have to work with here. So what I'll do now is material and tools. All right guys, this is our materials list. So I have a five foot bathtub. This is a left hand. So when you look at it, the diverter is on the left side. There's our drain. So we have screws, clear silicone, couple 45s, a coupling in case I need it, ABS pipe, this is our waste and overflow, ABS glue, and then concrete. Guys, this is what I need for material for this job. So what we'll do now is the tools list. All right, this is our tools list. So I have a four foot level. I have my cordless kit, so sawzall impact drill, hand tools, measuring tape, flathead hammer, Extension cord, scale saw, shovel, a mixing bucket, I have a hacksaw for safety equipment, earplugs, glasses, tube cutters, tub key, and then a couple lights. Guys, this is what I believe I need for tools for this job, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to strip back the film. So guys, just like the shower base I did, this has a clear film that you need to remove. If you don't remove it, you will have a leak. Alright, so this is our drain. This has a, a push button pop-up. So we'll unscrew it. And then you can see the cross in the middle. That cross is where we're going to put our tub key. Alright, so the way this drain works is you have the, the bottom 90. You have a rubber gasket. This goes on the bottom of the tub. And then this will screw on like this. So that is the design of, of this waste and overflow. Okay, so we have our clear silicone. We'll go around. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll put our drain in and make sure there's no debris. All right, so I'm gonna take the 90, I'm gonna put it on the back side. So we'll put our rubber gasket on. And then we're going to spin on our 90. So guys, a key thing here is we want this to be pointed towards our overflow. Once I have this tightened up, I'll show you what it looks like. But I'm gonna hold this in place and then I'm gonna tighten the other side down. All right, so this is our tub key. The cross is what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put it in here. So I'm gonna hold the back side in place. All right, so that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to use this here. Okay, so we want this to be pointed towards that. If this is pointed like this or the other way, then it's not going to work. But this looks relatively okay. Oh, actually, I should go left a bit. That looks okay. So now I'm gonna go and wipe out the silicone on the other side. So once again, make sure that there's a nice ring of silicone all the way around. I mean, with the film, you can actually just wipe it on the tub itself. And for this one here, there's a ring around. So what you want to do is you, you want to center this in the ring. So this is sagging towards the bottom, which makes sense because of gravity. So I'm going to take a set of channel locks and hit it from the bottom. Okay, so we have our channel locks, and I'll just tap it from the bottom, gently. Can go up a little bit more. Alright, that looks to be okay. And then guys, because it is slid up, we're gonna have a little bit of silicone on the bottom, so just wipe that one more time. All right, so this is our overflow. We have a rubber ring. So this rubber ring, as you can see, it's thinner at the top, it's uh, thicker at the bottom. So the thicker part will go towards the bottom. This is our chrome cover with the screw hole in the middle. So on the bottom, you have a notch for a chain for a stopper and then you have the couple of grooves for water to flow through so the chrome cover is directional so we're going to put our overflow 90 at the top center it in the hole and then we're going to put the screw on So you can see the top is solid and then through the side you can see the holes. So this is what it looks like from the side. Some people will silicone this. I don't. I've never done it. It's not required. I think it's overkill. Some people just silicone everything. But now the next thing is we have that there. We have this here. So this needs to get straightened out. So we want this to roughly line up with this here. I think that looks to be okay. All right, with that done, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the copper spout and then cut the floor back. All right, so to cut the spout, really I just want it to be behind the, uh, the front of the studs.
All right, so what I did was I measured the uh, center of the drain and then I made a mark. So I'm going off of the base of the plate there. Now, two and a half is from the edge of the wall to the center drain this way. Guys, I'm not gonna be able to see where the trap is. That's why I measured off for it already. Okay, so I've marked my line going across. So once again, I've measured off the base of the plate. I went 32 and an eighth, I went an eighth over. I did the other end as well at the same measurement, 32 and an eighth. And now I'm gonna cut this. So what they did before was they put the tub in here first and then they came back later on. They put 3 eighths plywood and then they put the, uh, the flooring on top of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut along the line with a circular saw and then the tub will sit on this uh, plywood here. All right, so we're going to set the, the depth for our blade. Guys, first things first, make sure that it's unplugged. But loosen off the wing nut here, that's when we move the guy up and down. Now, the plywood is only 3 8 thick, so I'm gonna go half an inch, which is right there. So by going a half inch, we're not going to go through this sheet of plywood. So you can see how that is a half inch. So now with the saw, with the depth set, I'm going to cut the line for the uh, for the upper plywood. All right, I'm going to cut as far as I can go, and for the little bits on either end that I can't get with the skill saw. I'll go with the reciprocating saw. So guys, put on safety glasses and put in earplugs. So they PL'd it. PL is construction adhesive, so it's a little bit still stuck to the floor. Alright, so now it's time to prefab the drain. So what I've done here is I've put this side up against the stud. So it's up against the stud the whole way. So guys, 32 inches to that corner. Now from here, 32 inches to here. And now we have mocked up uh, how we want to do this. So I've measured off from here to this mark, that's 14 and a half. This is where the existing drain is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my four foot level, we're gonna put it on top and that's going to give us an edge that goes across. Okay, so we're on that edge there, we're on this edge here. And if we look at it, it is level. So what this, level is now going to do it's going to give us a reference point to follow so from this level two and a half inches down to center is where the existing trap is so with this mock up here we're going to be able to uh put our pieces of pipe and our t and ideally line it up right over where the existing trap is All right guys, so this is what I've mocked up. So from the back corner there to here, I put a I put the level on, I made a line. I put a piece of plywood uh, across. So this is now level with this corner and the level is currently level. This is the most crucial part of this job because your, your prefab, your mock up here, of where your drain is going to be. If you are off, you have very little room to try to correct it. So be aware of that. So from the bottom of the level, two and a half is going to be the center of our T. So we're about an inch over to the right. This line here is 14 and a half off the wall. So from here and here, what you're going to do is this, you need to get to the very center of the T 
and then two and a half inches right here you want it to the middle so I'm going to need to use a 22 to get this done so it's going to look something like that and then for the top the overflow I will offset 45 and connect those together all right so I got my T mocked up uh, it's a tight piece a tight piece I'm a little bit off, so I'm going to have to throw a, a 22 offset on the vertical. But now with this here, uh, we need to glue the overflow section here. If you glue this in now without this in, uh, without the overflow in, you're going to be really stressing things, trying to pull it apart. So I'm going to do the overflow now, and then I will glue this T on after. Okay, so these joints all have to be glued in together at the same time and then it has to be spun in as one big unit. All right, so we're at two and a half. And then here we're both three, 13 and three quarters. So this is about three quarters of an inch out, but I'll be able to uh, take that up with the 22 offset. But guys, with this now done, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the tub in, level it, I'll mark the studs, and then we're going to see where our drain is in relation to our waste and overflow. Guys, one other thing to keep in mind, flows downward, don't put your tea in backwards. Okay, so this mark is the center of the drain for the tub. So I'm gonna offset 22 over. Guys, one thing that's very important, make sure that this drain here, your fitting, is not sitting on the plywood. Because if it's sitting on the plywood, as people step into it, as you fill it with water, that's going to start to move the drain up and down and it's gonna develop a leak. This is going to clear, but just for the sake of it i'll cut this back out a little bit more but make sure that your drain is not touching the subfloor because you're going to run into a problem so guys uh this one has feet you see all the feet here now the problem with uh, this setup in this case is there's no way to adjust the feet to support the base of the tub because you can't see it everything here is drywall so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mix concrete i'm going to put concrete here and there, and there, and then that'll act as a base. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put the tub back in, I'm gonna level it, and then we're going to take the measurement between our 22 offset over here. I gotta do the offset first. We'll put the tub in, then take a measurement. So when the tub gets placed uh, with concrete, that's also when the drain is gonna be glued in at the same time. Okay, so that's our two and a half inches back, and then we're going to try to hit this right in the center of the fitting. Now keep in mind that there is water in the trap, and you don't want to go too crazy with the glue because that glue can sit and skin over on the water, and then it won't drain. And yes, I have seen this happen. All right, so this is going to be a tight piece between the two 22s. Okay, so we'll glue the 22 in and then we're going to level the top of it. Okay, that's level. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with the sawzall. I'm going to cut this back. And then we'll throw the tub back in. Okay, so I put the four loop full level on the back. That says it's level. The back is slightly high, but it's still within level. Uh, with this tiny bit, an eighth of an inch maybe, over 32 inches, almost three feet, we can take that up in the, in the tile. And now this side here, and that side is level. So what I'm gonna do is just mark the studs. And you can see how it fits nice and tight. So guys, really quickly, if the back end is high, so if your tub is high like that, what you do is you just take your foot, kick it on the bottom to nudge the, the bottom out, and that's going to start to push that side down. You can also tap very lightly with your feet back and forth to get that side down. But with the tub now level, I need to get the measurement for for the drain. Unfortunately, I can't show you you guys this because it is tight even for me. All right, so I, I drew out the rails that are underneath the tub. So I'm gonna put a little bit here, 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 and then in the back. Okay, so I removed the diverter. I'm gonna get the tub into position. I gotta glue this, I gotta glue this. And then in one big swoop, attach the drain. Once the drain is attached, I can work on leveling the tub. Guys, in case you're wondering why I left this thing in for so long, it's because there's other people in this house and I can't leave the water off for such a prolonged period of time. Okay, so once again, I put plastic as a barrier between the tub and the concrete it'll make the easy it'll make the tub easier to pull out if that time ever comes but now i'm going to glue this this and i'm going to uh, get the tub in as fast as i can okay i think i have the drain line up the keyword think so now i'm going to check the level so the high the back is high right now so for both sides, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the front out a little bit, or you can also tap with your foot and then step down. Okay, that looks like it's within a reason all the way around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put just a couple screws into it just to hold it in place and then I'm going to run water through the drain to make sure that I, I got the drain where it needs to be. Guys, like I said, it's so difficult to see in such a small space. That's what makes this so challenging. All right, so I put some water down the tub. Uh, it looks okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish screwing the tub in. I'm gonna put a screw into every stud. All right, so I put screws in all the way around. Guys, once again, don't go too tight with the screws because you can crack the acrylic. Either have the stud and the acrylic go tight together or a slight flex if there is a gap. But this is okay. Make sure you wipe the flange so you get an accurate reading. That is good. And that is good. Okay, so this tub is now installed. 
everything looks good. I, I put water down it. I really tried to take a a mirror and take a good look. Everything looks to be okay, but that is it for this job. So what we'll do now is an overview. All right guys, so that concludes this project. So putting in a tub, removing an old one, putting in a new one, this is actually more difficult than new construction. With construction, there's no drywall. You can see everything fairly well. Here, if you're off a little bit or something goes wrong, it is extremely difficult to see. In my opinion, this is advanced. If you're a beginner, <laughs> I wouldn't even try. If you're intermediate, uh, you can roll the dice on this one. But guys, this is not a simple job. There's a lot of things that you have to take into consideration to uh, make things work. And like I said, the single biggest thing is getting the drain to line up. Because if you're off, you have a very limited amount of height and space to correct the problem. The time on this job. The time was about four hours. Uh, mocking up the drain and then getting the drain connected is the single hardest part of this job. Otherwise, everything else went uh, fairly well. The concrete I had no issues with. Uh, no other obstacles uh, I came across. Guys, one other thing for the drain. Make sure that you are not touching the subfloor. Because over time, stepping into the tub, water expansion and contraction, the weight of the water, you're going to develop a leak if you're touching the subfloor. So go bigger to make sure that you're not going to hit anything. The cost of this job. The, the fittings, the overflow and the tub, uh, the tub and the overflow were customer supplies. Uh, I'm going to say it's about $700, but uh, everything looks good. I ran water through it. Uh, I'm fairly happy with it. I'm confident that there's uh, not going to be any issues. And guys, one other thing for the trap. If you have a water seal like I did here, don't go gluing the living heck out of it. Because like I said, I've, I've seen it happen where there was an eighth inch skim coat of ABS glue on the water and this was in a basement tub or shower I don't remember what it was and it all had to get ripped and redone that was in construction so be sparing with the glue if you're close to the actual trap when it's full of water guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned something I hope something here is going to help you on your project when you need to go ahead and do that guys till next time please hit the like button subscribe and I'll see you on the next project